Deadly Hurricane Matthew had lost some of its punch after it made landfall in the U.S. state of South Carolina. Earlier it stayed just offshore as it passed Georgia and Florida, where it killed five people, despite wind speeds dropping to under 85 miles an hour, making it the lowest category hurricane. The interstate highway in South Carolina was severely flooded, and altogether Matthew knocked out power to around 1.5 million households and businesses. All three states were hit by torrential rain and flooding, as well as knocked down trees and damaged houses. Around 2.5 million people were warned they should evacuate, but many who had survived previous hurricanes stayed put. Unlike in Haiti, where nearly 500 people were killed, most people knew their homes were strong enough to survive Matthew. In Florida, people gathered up aid for the Bahamas, which had been battered by 140 mile an hour winds on Friday. In less than 24 hours, we've gathered uh, over 25,000 bottles of water, thousands of diapers. Uh, there's food, there's tools, all types of stuff uh, to get to the Bahamians. We're hoping that we can help them out uh, in the wake of Matthew. Much of Nassau, the capital of the Bahamas, was left without power and palm trees were uprooted. Those tourists who decided to wait out the hurricane rather than evacuate sought shelter in hotels.